going to turn the program over to Elise and Nia. They are going to start this presentation, and then we're going to talk a little bit about immersion language. Hello everyone, don't worry, we're going to translate for you. <laughs> <laughs> My friend suggested that we tell you all about learning in two languages. My name is Elise, and I'm in seventh grade. 我叫伊丽, My name is Nia, and I'm in eighth grade. 我叫尼亚, 我上八年级. 从五岁到现在, 我们一直接受中文成浸时教学。用两门语言学习有什么不同呢? Learning in two languages means that the teacher is always thinking about curriculum, language, and culture. We've been doing this since we were five. For example, children in kindergarten who learn to sing. In the regular kindergarten, just one language, we might sing, the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. But in our training immersion class, we might sing, how it We learn to read and write in English and Chinese at the same time. How many here can speak a Xing Ming Yu by now? We have learned about 2,000 common words in Chinese. We can read and write Chinese and English. 2,000 characters. Wow. We read all kinds of literature in both languages. Stories, informational texts, poems. Our goal is to be both bilingual and biliterate. In English class, students might learn to recite a classic poem like this one. Two roads diverge in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. In our second grade Chinese class, we learned about the phases of the moon in second grade in science class, and we learned a classic Chinese poem. Our immersion teacher set very high standards for us. If we get 95% on a test, they'll say there's room for more improvement. We work hard. <laughs> we understand that we need to be globally competitive. We know that there is no market, local or global, for bilingual people with poor skills. Last year we traveled to China and stayed with a Chinese family. We confirm that, yes, we really do speak Chinese. <laughs> I can add anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't 